So plug the NVMe drive into your Mac's USB-C port. And then it'll say initialize, select initialize. And if you don't already have disk utility open, you can go to finder, applications, utilities, disk utility to find this disk utility program. So you'll see it's detected the NVMe. Then I select erase, making sure I've got the select drive, select the correct drive selected. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Uh, file system format, we'll get to here in a moment, but uh, there are several options depending upon your personal preference. I use APFS, which is Apple File System, but you can choose encrypted, case sensitive, case sensitive encrypted, Mac OS extended. There's a lot of options, but I use APFS. Click erase. This may take a moment or so. This is initializing the NVMe drive, and obviously you have to initialize the drive before you can use it in conjunction with your Mac. So be patient, watch this do its thing, and this is in real time. So, you know, I'm, I'm initializing this on, a, uh, on an Apple Silicon iMac. So there it is. You see it's almost done, but I always hit show details for the granular confirmation. That's optional. You may be lazy and not want to do that, but I do. And everything seems to be fine. So I just performed a quality check. Click done. And now you'll see it's mounted it. You can see my really cheap and fast storage, which is what I named this NVMe drive. Go to Get Info. You can see capacity is 2.05 terabytes. That's a lot of storage on the cheap, man. Check out my separate video where I explain how I assembled this drive.